Hello and welcome. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, you might have seen my car charging on Chidemo. Um, so this is just a little video about how I cheaply added um, DC rapid charging. Uh, the parts you're going to need are a Chidemo socket off eBay. These can be picked up quite cheap. Uh, an Arduino Dewey. Uh, a shield that I made. Uh, this one's a bit of a prototype, so it's got some fixes that I've applied. Uh, and a pair of contactors. Um, all this is documented on the Open Inverter Wiki. Uh, see there. Do you want to go there? That's linked in the description. Uh, or how to wire it. And so, yeah, uh, if you prefer to see it in text form, go there. So, right, here we go. So here we go, we've got a, a Chidemo input socket, two Gigavac contactors, uh, a Chidemo controller in there, that's a, an Arduino Dewey with uh, a board I've made up, it's just uh, a couple of in, uh, inputs and outputs uh, and a CAN bus. And then the box, I'll put the contactors in there. Probably something like that. Uh, battery connection in, uh, stock it out. Uh, yeah, and that should allow DC rapid charging. Right, so we've got the, the two contactors in the box. Uh, this is going to be uh, put a ring terminal on there, crimp it on with the big hydraulic cr crimper. Uh, same at this side, positive and negative. Uh, to the main junction box uh, and this side is going to go down to the Chidemo socket and then we've got the the wires that close the contactors and then there's also these the blue and white ones uh, that can be used to detect whether the contactors are welded closed uh, so I'm going to fit this into the car so <clears throat> this is one of the tools you are definitely definitely going to want uh, hydraulic cable crimper. Um, yeah, I've seen some reviews where these are, are C-shaped and they crack, so I think you're probably off best off getting one with the two sides. But um, it's going to be hard to show how to do this one-handed. Let's tighten her up. So I've, I've put the um, go on the ring terminal on the end already. I've threaded the. I've put this on. It will not fit over the ring table terminal, but the the actual screw that goes on the back will. So I can put that in the box and screw it on afterwards. Oh, there we go. So oh, I just need to make sure we get a good crimp. Squeeze it all the way down. Oh. Put it off. And there we have pretty decent crimp. Hopefully, that'll not be going anywhere. Right. Back at the uh, Back at the box, so idea is put this in there, that, that one through there, that on, really difficult to do one handed, that one there, come on. This up. Put 
Need a cameraman, don't I, Chloe? Mm -hmm. I've got to play one. Yeah? But you don't want to. Tighten that up. Pretty much then, that's going to go out to the today more socket. No. Do the same on the other side. That's lovely. Yeah. Oh, I have that little outfit. Yeah. Why? Why? I'm going to use that in a second. You need to mm -hmm. cut some more. So then I've got this orange conduit. Orange conduit. I was just gonna and feed the cable through down to the JDMO socket. And uh basically that's that's the JDMO socket side. Right, okay, so this is how you need to wire up your JDMO shield. Uh, various low voltage signals there and ground canvas. Again, check the open inverter wiki for that. And then last up, you need to wire up your high voltage cables from your Judemo junction box to your main high voltage junction box. Uh, in there where your main fuse and main contactors are. You need to put your high voltage cables to the side of the contact, your main contactors, so that you do not get high voltage to the Jidemo junction box unless your main contactors are closed. However, you do the closing of your main contactors. Currently, you need to make sure that those close when you are Jidemo charging. And, and then you can go to your local Jidemo station and give it a test. Uh, any issues you can post them in the forum thread for this on Open Inverter and yeah. So that's how you can add Judemo to your DIY EV for probably around £100, maybe a little more. Good luck.